All right, so I'm going to make my video on the uh, generator that is on my 2005 Kenworth T600. So it's the Predator 4550. I think they may, I don't know, they're always changing this thing. Uh, and it seems to run everything. I want to say I got a 8,000 BTU um, AC in the truck and i'll show you that the most important thing that you need to do with these newer generators is there is a co2 detector on these new generators now my running this as much as i do uh i think because I, I i bought the warranty on this and i've had to replace it once because i figured out it was the co2 uh detector once that thing goes out these will not start okay um these are not commercial generators they i don't know what their runtime is as far as like how long that co2 uh thing lasts but i think i got about two months three months out of this generator running it practically i don't know maybe on average i probably run this thing because I'm not out that much, but I would say on average, maybe three times a week on average, right? Uh, over a one year period, three to four times a week that this thing is running, uh, 10 hours, uh, 10 to 12 hours a day. So yeah, that's one thing. Um, I can make a video on how to disable that because you can't just pull the you can't just pull the uh you can't just disconnect the co2 detector because the computer inside uh will know that it's unplugged and it still won't start so you actually have to jump it and it's not as easy as you think it is uh took me a while to figure out how to jump it so maybe i'll make a, a video on that but uh anyways this has a, I want to say five gallon tank. Um, so one complete fill, if you fill this all the way to the top, right? So what I do is out here and uh, we have Mavericks. And the cool thing about a Maverick is you can get diesel fuel and they also have gas pumps right next to the, the high flow diesel pumps. So. So I'm able to fill this up and I'm able to fill up my gas can. So if you fill this up and I have, I carry two gas cans with me, this, if an emergency, which you're always next to a gas station, I mean, like get your ass out, walk, you know, if you're at a truck stop, you can walk over and get gas. I do it all the time. It's not a big deal. All you need to do is fill one of these up. Uh, I carry a spare just in case but you can get about four 10 hour run times with a filled tank here and five gallons. You can get about four, four times you can fill this up before you have to stop and get gas again. So technically about four days you can go, I can go uh, with what my setup here easily a week without filling everything back up again. I like to keep everything full just in case of a breakdown, just in case of I get stranded somewhere. That's the beauty of having a generator is you have a lot more flexibility. So now what I have plugged in, this is why I like this one because it has, it's not a 220, but it's the bigger plug, right? So it's a higher amp. I think it's the, what is it? A 30 amp, 30 amp plug. So this is what my air conditioner is plugged into. And this cord here is, uh, I have all my like microwave, um, refrigerator. Uh, actually, no, I don't have my refrigerator connected to the generator. I just have my microwave, my printer, uh, my fan, uh, any electronics uh, I have plugged into this, right? And then this one here is off for the time being. Um, so what I have plugged into this is my oil pan heater. So during the winter time, I will, 
and there's you can see there's uh fuses right like gcfi all the plugs are g gcfi so these are 20 amp circuits and this is a 30 uh and that 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 has a reset button also on it but that's what i keep plugged into it uh right now that's plugged in because it's keeping everything charged so i'll show you what the accessories that i have plugged in for that when i run the generator it's what this runs is the, the reason truck. why it's plugged in this here is a battery tender it's also a jump starter so uh, i have used this a few times to jump start a truck uh it's a hit and miss you could probably get the bigger one this one here there's one bigger up from this i think but these have i've used these for god i've had that thing probably for five to seven years um in all of my trucks so as you can see it just keeps the battery charged right so green light so basically i'm just keeping a tender while my truck sits uh, I have four AGM batteries in there, uh, four Optima yellow top batteries. Love them if you can afford it. Uh, I, I've ran uh, the AG. I got tired of replacing the cheap truck stop batteries every year and failing me every year. So I've gotten in my last truck, I think I had it for three years and never had to replace batteries on it. So my i would recommend the optima you know uh yellow top batteries they do awesome Inside, that is my inverter uh that runs my refrigerator and that stays on all the time like i say even when i'm at home um i think it's on maybe not no i think i have it turned off i do have it turned off because i've been home for a week uh and the only the refrigerator reason and the compressor will will run you know constantly um so i turn it off uh i've gone through two refrigerators and these are regular uh you know refrigerators that you get at walmart like college dorm refrigerators right uh so got that turned off right now i found out when the compressor runs and you know inside these trucks get so damn hot but so when i'm sitting for a long period of time uh or i mean when I'm at home for a long period of time, I will turn the refrigerator off. If I'm only home for like a day or two, I'll keep it on and keep my food in there because it is a pain in the ass to uh, remove the food and all that. But do run a commercial or not a commercial, but a residential type uh, refrigerator. And that is connected to the, uh, the inverter. And the inverter is connected directly to the batteries. So I have my TV connected to the inverter. Um, and my sound bar is connected to the inverter. So that way I don't have to turn the, uh, the generator on to watch the TV. And those Optima batteries will keep... You know, I, I can watch it. Like, I, if I wanted to, I could uh, not run the generator for a 10-hour period um and it's not going to kill the batteries but as soon as that generator turns on um the battery tender will charge those batteries completely right because an alternator will only charge a battery between i think it's either 80 to 90 percent of its full capacity it will not charge your batteries a hundred percent um so just keep that in mind uh your batteries are never fully charged when you're just running a generator or uh, an alternator, right? Your truck will never 100% charge these batteries to full capacity. I got my printer connected. Uh, this is all, see, there's my, my power cord. That's all connected to the generator. Uh, I can connect it to the power inverter. If I need to print something real quick, I can. Again, it's not going to kill the batteries. Uh, high energy things like my toaster there and my microwave will not work on that inverter. Uh, I also have a hot plate up here, right, to cook hamburgers and stuff. 
So that all goes to the generator and I can run the microwave and the hot plate all at once. Uh, I can run the air conditioner and the hot plate all at once. I can wear the, the air conditioner and the microwave at once. I cannot run all three at the same time. So, so. here's the air conditioner. It's a black and decker, not sure what it is. Uh, it does pretty well. I have it vented down and out the bottom. I'll show you where it's vented. Also, the uh, condensation hose is also vented out the back. Um, and it, it does it does the job, right? Especially if it's 100 degrees and the sun is shining on this thing, it will not keep up. But at night, if it's 80, 90 degrees outside at night, uh, it has no problem. It's just when the sun is beating down on this, this tin can that you're in, um, it, it can't, it can't keep up. But other than that, it keeps up just fine. Uh, generator has no problems turning it on. Like I said, I think, I'll, let me double check. Yeah, I can't is. get to the tag, but I think it's either a nine or a 10,000 BTU air conditioner. Uh, it also has a heater on it. So it's a, it's an air conditioner and a heater because I don't have a bunk heater, but I also find it, uh, just fine to use this. I use this as a bunk heater too. And the generator will run that with no problems. Dropping all my stuff, but that's just a little Walmart, um, space heater. I sit it up here and, uh, close the curtains and it keeps this thing nice and warm. So. I'll show you where the uh, vent, where it vents. So I just cut a hole. Uh, where is it at? There you go. I just cut a hole. Here's the uh, condensation tube. And then there's where my blower comes out. So I just cut a hole in here and uh, seems to work out good. Here's my electrical lines. And all you do is, I've had a lot of people on my other generator video saying how did you get the wires through the through the cab uh nine times out of ten there's already a cut hole let's see uh like here this is already this was already pre-cut because of the wires going up into the uh cab but nine times out of ten there is a uh there is a hole um There is a, a, a hole underneath here. Uh, usually it usually goes into your side box. So you can just run the uh, cords up through there. And then uh, you can see. And then you just run it through the, uh, the bunk there. But as you can see, there, it kicked on. So because I turned my sleeper light on, it started to drain the batteries. So... That's what's awesome about having this is it will charge it back up and I don't have to worry about it. But anyways, that is my generator setup. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, um, let me know. And uh, I'll try to make a video on, I just got to get up underneath the truck and, and show. Oh, the bracket that I used. Um, just a bracket yes i drilled into the frame and bolted it to the frame uh it's sturdy as hell see this thing ain't going anywhere and then the generator is also bolted to this bracket i got it on four state i want to say it's like 150 200 bucks um so yeah this is just bolted to that. And then I also have it, uh, a chain and a lock on the back of it. Uh, just see if you can see, there's the chain, just a chain and a lock, just as an extra precaution, um, oil change intervals. I should do them more, but maybe once a month that I, that I change the oil on this thing. Like I said, I, I run it 10, uh, it, it will run 12 to 14 hours on a full tank of gas, depending on the load. If I have the air conditioner running at full blast, um, and it doesn't turn off, then I get about 10 hours 
out of it. So, oh, I also, you can get these at Harbor Freight or a farm store, but I have a transfer pump. And the reason I use a transfer pump is for the gas cans. So I can just set this up here on the catwalk, put the transfer pump in there, transfer it into, and there doesn't, you know, there's no uh, spillage or gas or anything. Uh, it just makes things a whole lot easier, a whole lot better. I used to fill it up with, um, I got a big ass funnel right there used to fill it up with that but then like you have to set the funnel outside and it was just this is just a whole lot easier and it's a lot more controlling like you know you can watch it fill up and uh turn it off before it overfills with the uh the funnel it was kind of hard i'd always 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 overfill it so but yeah that's my uh generator apu a lot better than spending here here's a here's a statistics statistic for you right i did the math with somebody uh if you bought an apu spent twelve thousand dollars on an apu the only convenience you have is it'll keep if you have it plumbed correctly it will keep your uh coolant warm in the winter time when you run it right uh, and you can turn it on and off in the bunk because you're going to be that lazy uh, that you can't walk out while you're doing your post trip like you should be doing anyways and coming out here and firing this bitch up. I don't know what to tell you. They also make these with remote start um, if you want to spend the extra money. But I think this AP or this generator right now, let's say it's 700 bucks. Right, I think it, it might be cheaper. It might be more than that now. But let's say it's $700. You could buy one of these uh, every year for like 12 years to pay for that fucking uh, APU. Right? And I can do so much. To, I can hook up tools to this. Uh, I can help somebody with this. Um yeah, like there's, I, I could hook a fucking welder up to that thing if I wanted to and, and weld on my truck or people's trucks or whatever, right? Like there's so much, uh, I can charge my batteries, uh, with this thing. I mean, the, there's, yeah, an APU will charge your batteries too, but again, it's just using an alternator. Uh, it's not going to charge your batteries 100%, but this is the way that I've gone. I've put a generator on every one of my trucks. I've had four trucks. And to me, this is the way to go. Now, the ultimate setup is this with a rooftop air conditioner, which I had on my Mac, which is the original uh, generator video that I put out, uh, APU video that I put out. Um, that that was the ultimate setup but eventually i was thinking about putting a rooftop air conditioner on this which i still probably will um but as of right now the uh other air conditioner is suiting me fine so anyways i'm gonna end this it's already too long so that is my apu slash ghetto generator uh, again if you got any questions, comments, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.